think I've seen this video at least, um, I don't know, at least 11 times, <laughs> but who's counting? And <clears throat> I'm just noticing this part because as I watch, people watch things differently. Um, I, I used to think, uh, <clears throat> I think of myself still as someone with like ADD. So in a sense, because when I'm watching, when I'm hearing people talk, sometimes, most of the time I control it, but sometimes if I'm just relaxed and not totally trying to like, you know, zone in and like crash course it, then I, I, I kind of learn more that way because I start to like go off into little points. Somebody says something and it like triggers like a response in my head that's like, oh, that's so interesting. And then I remember everything that I know about that. And then I start to like, you know, if you think of like a mind map, it's like kind of like a spider web. You like go this way and this way until eventually you're like way out and like nowhere. And everyone's like, how did you even think of that when we're talking about this, right? So you'll notice <laughs> this girl kind of... um uh, I don't want to say psychopath, but this is how science would describe people like us that have different, emo not different emotions, I'm sorry. We, we react differently to, everybody has like the stimuli, right? And if people react differently to a certain stimuli, they're technically referred to as psychopaths, but it's just a way of describing someone that thinks a little differently than everybody. So, um, anyway, someone just got here. So, <sighs> As a exercise, just think of the first color. Say the first thing that comes to mind. Color and a tool. Those two things. One, two, three, go. Okay, if you said a red hammer, then you're not a psychopath. If you said anything other than that, then you would be considered a psychopath because your thoughts deviate from the norm, what science calls the norm, whatever. 